us. And, you know, well, the rest of you, I'm sorry, I, I'm really not used to giving my speeches to a group like this. It's usually a one-to-one -one setting. <clears throat> anyway. Well, everyone, you may think stopping me is inevitable, but you will find it completely inevitable. No, that's, that's, is that backwards? Anyway! Aha! Tremble in fear, Perry, that... I mean, everyone, at my latest invention! Well, you know, it's not really my invention. I, I found it in a storeroom. But I'm using it at the moment. That's why I call it my invention. Actually, it's kind of a tight fit. Uh, was this designed for a normal-sized pilot? I don't see how it could really fit any kind of normal human being. Regardless, notice how the device has attracted you to the outer walls like little flies to, to, uh, oh, what attracts flies? What, uh, vinegar or flame or something? Uh, uh, how did that go? You know, I, I took a class on colloquials in college and it's all just gone. Anyway, let's see what this baby can do, eh? Okay, let's try this button over here. Get up, you stupid machine! Get up! Oh! Hey, cut that out! Oh, this button looks promising. It's red. All right, let's try this! this thing.
Unless I curse you, everyone! Sorry, it's that. I'm not used to it still. Oh, man. The design of that thing was not thought through at all. It doesn't quite do what I was expecting. You know what? Uh, I've, uh, I've changed my mind. There's, uh, you know, there's really just no challenge here, so I'm ready to go back to our own dimension whenever anybody wants to... Okay. First, you have to shut this place down, deactivate all the robots, and free the people. Sure, no problem. Uh, sure, no problem. Let's see here. Oh, this. This must be the button to turn this stuff off. This is... this is where I would put it, of course. I don't know about other dimension me. He's only got one backstory. What? You never know what he's gonna do. He's sort of a loose cannon. But I, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm relatively positive. This, this should be it. Oh, actually, uh, oh, I guess I... I guess I would put a giant robot activator button there. Yeah. Yeah, and second thought, that's really more my... my style, I suppose. Possibly defeat this robot. I don't see any weak points. Wow, this thing sure sure uses a lot of power. I, I doubt it's carbon neutral. We're probably harming the environment right now. We just sabotaged the headquarters power plant. Did it have any effect? Oh, look, there's its command center. Attack it right there now. Ah, oh, looks like it has a redundant power backup built in. Didn't see that coming. Uh oh. I think you made it angry. Uh, guys, I think we need a little backup. Brother, I've got your back. This shows it has a level above angry. It has a couple. I, I, right now it's hovering between furious and livid. All right, everyone. I think it's finally our turn.
Wow, there's literally a gauge in here marked anger, and now the dial is just spinning around and around. Not sure what that means, but it can't be good. Uh-oh, I think it's time to bounce. Exit stage left. Come on, Perry. We've got two dimensions to save. Did the trick. Video log forty five. Well, it's been about two months since we helped other dimension Ferb and Phineas defeat Dr. Doofenshmirtz. And this place is finally returning to normal. After that robot was destroyed, Phineas, Ferb, and the rest of their crew went back home. Although that's a different story. Anyway, here in our dimension, no one is wearing those terrible doofrawls anymore. And even better, they're reopening the school. But that's still 104 days away. And we've got a few plans on how to spend our first summer vacation. Oh, hey, Ferb, you're back with the plans. And you got the blowtorch. But what's the peanut butter for? Well, that's my cue. We're off to build the coolest roller coaster ever. Hey, Fern, you got enough rivets up there? Found out that our platypus was more than he seemed to be. Spent half a day running from an evil doppelganger. This army of robots, both demanding and polite. Met ourselves and our sister, she's the ultimate resistor. The Perry got captured and we knew that we had to fight. We thought that we could get home using Ferb's remote, but quantum physics wouldn't let us rebound. Get gone. 